In this video, we're going to look at the Power Query Editor and what happens when you change one item in your source file. So in this scenario, I removed a column from my source file and replaced it with a different column in the same exact spot. Now, all of the previous applied steps are still going to work. Power BI is finding the file in SharePoint and applying all these steps here as I originally had done. But after this step of promoted headers, when we go to the next step, you can see that we have an error. And this is saying the column count of registrations of the table wasn't found. So my original source file had a column called count of registrations and I subsequently replaced it with this new one called scheduled class student count. And now that original step of changing type and all of these steps afterwards are gonna bring up that error. So what we need to do, we need to replace our old column with the new column so that we don't have to redo all of these steps. So our new column name is scheduled class student count. I can actually go here and do rename and then that way I can copy this. I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to go to the next step for change type. And I'm going to locate count of registrations in the formula bar here. So here we have count of registrations. And if we kind of scroll this way, we can get the rest of the formula to show up. But what we want to do is delete this and we're going to replace it by copying, or sorry, by pasting in our new one. And we can go ahead and hit enter and let that formula run again. All right, and now we have that step working again. And we can see our new column is there. Now let's go to the next step, rename the columns. Uh, here I can see that my original changes um, stayed with the exception of this last column. So as I had gone through in this original step, I had renamed um, each of these columns as per the formula bar up here. So you can see I changed schedule class start date to class start date, etc. So I want to rename this column to count of registrations. And now it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to insert a step. It may affect subsequent steps, but yes, we do. We're gonna go ahead and insert that. We're gonna finish renaming to class max count. And that's gonna conclude this particular step after we insert there. Now we have all of that as we want it. So we'll move to the next step. We'll make sure that there's no errors thrown in the rest of these steps here. So we go through each replaced value. And of course, with each one of these, like this is the kind of the crucial part of like checking um, because with each one of these steps, it took me a while to um, do some value replacing and Power BI, because the file is big, it took a lot of time to actually go through and replace all those values. So we can just kind of go through each one of the steps here and make sure that there aren't any other errors here. We have one more here where it's, um, we did a renaming of a column. So um, I'm actually going to delete this step because I actually did that up here in this, I added that, this step here up here to this one. So we can actually just delete this step here and that will um, finish cleaning everything up. So that's how one way you can deal with this uh, error when you see that anytime you update your source file um, where you're switching out a column. That's gonna do it. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.